Guys, I'm not even gonna lie. I just don't wanna do this shit at all. Tired of trying to lose weight. Tired. But somehow, some way, I'm gonna get myself up and go. <sighs> Today, I'm gonna try to get myself together <clears throat> so I can go to the gym. Let's see how that works out. Okay, guys, so I am finally alive. Honestly, I've been avoiding the gym and there's a certain reason why. I just honestly do not know how to keep my hair when it's pressed. What am I supposed to do with this? I have an event where I need to take, where I'm actually gonna be doing photography and media for a church. Don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with this. My hair is really greasy because my head started itching and I put peppermint oil in it. So now, I'm looking like that soul glow, you feel me? I don't know, after this workout, I think it's just, I think it's gonna be that time. I've been trying to avoid like sweating out my hair, but it's like inevitable at this point. This is what we're working with. This is my head. It's really, really greasy, y'all. Like, <sighs> kind of on a hair journey as well. I'm on it like a self-improvement health and wealth type of deal but i gotta i gotta figure out how to start keeping my hair a little bit better i am totally done with wigs i'm finished i'm never going back the only thing i think i'm willing to do are clip-ins or some type of sewing so something has to give i'm gonna try for you guys to get my hair like i don't know what we're gonna do when we go to the gym so that's a thing it's hard Guess it's another gym vlog. My childhood, y'all, my hair was way longer than this. I'll show y'all the back. I think just growing up and stress and trying different things with my head kind of did its due diligence. <laughs> but I've never had a perm before. I've always just did a good old flat iron. And I actually have a picture, so it's a little bit longer. Of course, it's starting to curl back up. This is really curly. I look like a Dominican mommy. Into some wins. I'm in the clip-ins because I feel like I can do clip-ins. Obviously not like this. I would braid back a good portion of my head and then leave it out like around the perimeter. Whew. All right, y'all, this is the deal. Today, honestly, I'm gonna work out in the apartment complex um, gym. And I know um, it's very lazy of me to drive my car there instead of walk, but I'm still working on it, guys. I Look, my health comes first, but I'm still working on it. It's kind of on the other side of the whole complex, so there's that, but we're gonna do a home workout today. I think I'm just gonna talk to you guys about my new weight loss goals, what I wanna see for myself. Uh, next week we do start school, so that's also another thing. I'm prepping myself for school. Um, obviously, just to be real, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to afford to be in this semester, but I have so many different feelings when this time of the year comes around, like around August. Like, I, I know I can do this. Oh, somebody decided to park in my spot. Or, like, y'all seen me in school before, but, like, I am rebranding myself as a student because I really did not do good the first time, but I've just kind of been in and out, in and out. I don't know at this point what i want to do for a career and that's almost scary for me to say so that's kind of where i've been at lately like in life if my stuff is in here we might be able to go mic it up today guys all right guys so i made it to the gym empty as usual my tripod i got my bag the music is a little loud in here guys but um i can't tell y'all how ready i am to finally work out bro it's been two weeks backed up 
I need this so bad. I'm sweating already in the bag. Oh, look what I found in my pouch. Y'all, I ain't even gonna lie, I ain't had no gas money, but I found some. If you want the link to this outfit, I will leave it down below. Alrighty guys, y'all know what time it is. And we always start on the treadmill. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Candy, where we talk about college and adulting and hair and fashion and really whatever comes to mind. I hope you guys can hear me because this music is very, very loud. If you're new here, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you become a part of the Candy fam. And if you're not new, hey bitch. I came off of a two week break. I can't find none of my buttons, honey. But I took a two week break and so, this is why. So for one, um, I was on my period. I know that a lot of women say this and I don't think it's good that a lot of women say this, but I have extremely excruciating pain when I'm on my period. And I'm not like being like, it feels like I'd be about to pass out sometimes. Like if I'm not laying down or being still. So I usually always take a break on my period, but I always train really, really hard up until the day ended up taking two weeks off because I have an event coming up. I really wanted to try to save my hair for this event that I have coming up because I told myself that I'm kind of done with the wigs, y'all. I'm kind of over it. Um, I can't get the lace to stay on. My hairline is very unique and the edges are just full-fledged growing right now. So W for uh, growth in the chat, okay? Really why I took two weeks off. Nothing dramatic happened. I don't necessarily take it as an L that I haven't worked out for so long it just means that it's time to get back on track with my eating and my dieting and um yeah just working out what I'm gonna do today is a little different from the last video I'm gonna spend 10 to 15 minutes on here of uh, walking as usual but I really want to focus on strength today press so the less I sweat the better it'll be but obviously we went through some precautions so we're gonna see how my hair holds up after this and we're gonna go through a lot of strength training today. So, what do I do, let's get our walk on. Talk and walk and walk and talk. For one, I really feel sexy in this outfit, okay? Like the white and black used to traumatize me because if you ever been a band kid, you know this is the fit every day of the week, okay? Stayed away from black and white as far as all of my fashion went, but this is just so cute. Sorry, I don't want to fall, but I just want y'all to see that this is so cute. It's kind of like got the Nike vibe, even though this is not Nike. This is just a straight from Sheena. Like, I have the little flare legs going, so I wanted to try something different. These gym girlies stay fashioned up. Oh, these girls are out here wearing makeup, doing full workouts, and I don't know if I could do that, but like, at least look cute. I wish I, I, wish I could show y'all the back of this shirt right now, because it has like a little cutout. And usually I don't do cutout, you know what I'm saying? The little cutout in the back of the shirt is giving cute. I work on my gym fashion because I'm the type of person I will go in there with the sleep t-shirt and some shorts. The thing I kind of wanted to talk about is that I think I want to either redefine or maybe even restart my fitness journey. And I only say that because originally, let me tell you guys, okay? Since we're just taking a slow walk, you know, we're just taking our time today. Originally, this weight loss thing was nothing like what y'all see now. Originally, I saved up $3,000 for surgery. Okay, we'll make it a mini story time. I was in school, school, like I had financial aid and everything. This music is so darn loud. I saved up $3,000 to have surgery. A couple years ago, the BBL trend was a flame everywhere, okay? BBL's here, BBL's there, liposuction here, getting my titties done there. I was, I was so for it. You know what I'm saying? This was way before me even trying to do the mental work or the physical work. So I had the money saved. I had the money saved. And so then the math started mathing. And I thought to myself, well, that is $3,000 I could pocket. You know, because it takes more than $3,000, obviously. You have all these other fees consultations you have to prep like months in advance before you have any type of cosmetic surgery I guess that's what kind of started me on my fitness journey is kind of putting the surgery thought to the side and saying and reflecting on what my boyfriend said like what if I just did the work you know what I'm saying what if I 
gave myself one chance to really do the work. Started off the fitness journey. And so after that, I started keto. Keto worked, but then I gained the weight back. Kind of stepped away from keto slowly. I learned some great eating habits and just how to kind of incorporate not fast food into my diet every day through keto. After that, I stepped away from that and started going to the gym more consistently. And let's not get it twisted. I've always been pretty athletic. You know, I've always been like on the basketball team, flag football. I played varsity all four years for flag football. And I love moving my body, but I think after a certain point in college, I was just like, you know what? I, I, I just kind of let it go. And then I also did band. I did band from middle school up into college, like my second year. So I was very, very active, but I ain't gonna lie. I felt like I've never been able to be that kind of superb athlete that did AAU or, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. I almost had like a, like an insecurity about it. Like I know I can be a great athlete, but I'm big. We're gonna take it up a little bit here because I'm tired of walking like a turtle. Just, I, I feel like I didn't take myself seriously because I felt like in my head, I knew other people wouldn't take me seriously because the way I looked and I was bigger. And back then, if you was just a big athlete, you had to be superb. You had to be 11 out of 10 to really be noticed. Most weight I've ever been able to lose is 65 pounds naturally, but that's only after I had a big blow up. My weight has always fluctuated throughout my childhood. Just a couple more seconds here. And this is just like a light, brisk walk, but... Okay, 13 minutes. 13 minutes. I feel pretty good. Guys, I needed this workout so bad. It's not even funny. Funny. I needed this workout so, so, so bad. Okay, guys. So, we're off the treadmill. I'm gonna just go ahead and do a full body workout today. I don't want to specify upper body or lower body just because it's been two weeks and I just know I need it all. The last time I did an ab workout, um, it went pretty good. For some reason, I'm like scared of core because I think I know my core is just like a little, a little weak. But um, I want to redefine my weight loss journey. I talked a little bit about it on the treadmill, but this is very important to me. But not for the reasons that it might be important to most young people. Um, it's just really important to me because I've just had a series of unfortunate events happen to me that um, kind of just makes me think about my health and my wealth and my mental health and everything. Um, I wanna do this so I can see the progress that I make. Cause by December, October, no wait, it's August now, September, October, November. By the end of November, I really want to see a difference in my core. And I, oof, I know this side about to be still. Oh, let me stop making unnecessary noises. I think I'm just gonna do some jumping jacks, try to just get my heart pumping a little bit again. And then just kind of pulse, touch the ground, touch the sky, touch the ground. I really do not know the purpose of any of these stretches, but as long as my favorite, <laughs> As long as my favorite fitness influencer does. Y'all, so I'm gonna try to make this dumbbell portion a little short just because the last time I recorded a video like this, it took me forever to edit it. Four. So I'm gonna try to at least do three sets of 10 of these. This might be a little bit better. We just gonna Tyler Perry that thing. vibes and so is this exercise i feel like in the 90s your mom would have put in a 90s VH, vhs tape and it would have been me on there <laughs> but we're doing you know what guys you probably can't hear me because i don't have my mic on right now but fuck it. i just want to see what it looks like right now i don't want to wait the
barely do hair reviews. I'm just trying to get into the hair thing. So no one missed that video. I'm gonna do a review on the Revlon hair blow dryer thing with Barbara that I got the other day. And I'm also just gonna keep posting more videos. So make sure you subscribe so you can stay tuned so you don't miss the tea. No. If you're already subscribed, make sure you leave a comment down below. If you wanna see more gym vlogs, let me know. If you wanna see something else, let me know. I will do it all. Just for you. Cause you know, I like it. But that's the end of this video. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.